Hi guys, it's Kelly here and I am back with another video. Today is actually a super short video. Um, I'm going to be using the uh, Christ is Born stamp set. This is part of the newest Honey Bee release. I totally love the stamp set. Um, and so I haven't made a card in a really long time with all of the packing and the moving and everything going on. Um, and I totally love the stamp set. Wanted to use it. Um, specifically because of one of the sentiments, which we'll get there when we get there. Um, but I was having a really hard time coming up with something. And it's because I haven't made anything in probably about a month. And so I'm a little backed up creatively. I was having a hard time. Um, I tried watercoloring and I didn't really like it. I didn't want to cope with color it because I've cope with colored so many nativity scenes. Um, I just didn't want to do the same thing. Um, so I went back to basics and a lot of times when I am in a rut or my creative mojo has fled, um, that is what I do. I go back to the basic things that I know I like. And a lot of times that's coloring, but in this case, it's clean and simple. Um, doing cards like this, going back to my roots and, and what really um, I know in my heart that I love helps me to kind of find my, like find my path again and be able to push myself in, in different ways um, just by kind of like, I guess, stabilizing my creativity. Um, so in order to be able to talk to you, I did have to um, kind of slow the video down in parts. I tried to leave as much of it speeded up as I could, um, but this is still not a very long video for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do um, some white heat embossing with an emboss resist. Um, so something kind of fun. If you did not know, if you stamp in uh, embossing ink, I used the clear mark from Nuvo, but also Versamark. Um, those will, any of those clear inks, if you stamp onto a colored piece of paper, it's going to make a darker impression. And you can just let that dry and that can be the impression dependent upon, you know, what you're doing. For me, I'm going to do some white heat embossing um, because I wanted it to be super clean and simple. There's a couple of things that I'm gonna do to make sure that the image of um, Mary Joseph and the baby Jesus are the focal point of the card. Um, but if you're new to card making or you're making a bunch of cards, <laughs> um, you could totally just leave it like this and it would be, it would still be a wonderful card. So you can see when I'm heat embossing it, I'm moving my heat gun all over the card. That's going to help prevent warping. I also had it preheating before I um, brought it to the paper. So while I was doing all of the treating the paper, stamping, um, embossing powder, all of that, my heat gun was on and heating up. So you just wanna get even heat across the cardstock, that way it doesn't curl up on you. If you do get some curling, turn the card over and heat it from the back as well, that will usually help to straighten it out. So once this is done, I'm gonna go in and stamp my sentiment, which is why I wanted to use this card. <laughs> So the sentiment, I'm not going to sing it, I'm just going to say it because I can't really sing, um, is, Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It's the night of our dear Savior's birth, which is lyrics for Oh, holy night, which is a Christmas song and is my favorite Christmas song. That is hands down my favorite Christmas song. My favorite version of it is sung by Martina McBride. I am not exaggerating when I tell you that 99.9% percent of the time when I listen to it I cry like I can't help it it's like such an emotional experience for me I totally I get like teary-eyed if not full ugly cry um every time so that is why it has a lot of other good um sentiments in there um you know, joy to the world, the Lord's come, let heaven and nature sing, peace on earth, love was born in a manger. They're just like so, they're just such good, it's such a good Christmas set. Um, and Melissa's always awesome at that stuff. So then once that's done, I'm going to kind of highlight that scene um, by adding some shading around it. Instead of adding shading to it to bring the focal point there, I'm adding some shading around it. 
Um, and for that, I am using um, Blueprint Sketch, Chip Sapphire, and Black Soot. Now, you might be saying to yourself, Kelly, there's no way you're going to see this Blueprint Sketch on this navy cardstock. And you're right. But because we're doing ink blending so that it gets darker on the outside, we need to have kind of like a base layer of Distress Ink to blend it into so that it's not um, choppy, so that it's a smooth blend into that navy cardstock. Now, I chose navy because blue's my boyfriend, um, and also just, this is a night scene, you know, that when Jesus was born, it was at night. Um, but so that's why I chose blue, but you could do this with any color and also with any image. If you have a strong image, stamp image, um, that you just really would like to be the, the focal point um, of your card, then you can absolutely do this technique with anything. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be, you could do it with a, a flower image or uh, just whatever. There are so many options. Um, so I'm going to do my distress inking twice. I'm going to do a layer of blueprint sketch and then not covering that completely around the edges. I'm going to do chip sapphire and then again not covering that completely adding the black soot. You may be thinking to yourself why do I need to put black on this card and the answer to that is if you want a dramatic effect where you're really going to highlight you know spotlight that center portion you have to have shadows on the outside. That's just the reality of it. If you're looking for something a little bit more subtle, leave the black off. You want your highlighted image to pop, put the black on. Um, so anywho, that is my favorite Christmas carol. I would be curious to know what your favorite Christmas carol is. And also if you cry like I do, I'm just curious <laughs> if I'm alone in that. <laughs> um, uh, but so the reason that I extended the video out even though this is taking a very long time and I realize there's gonna be people who are like, I just wanted to see the technique skip ahead. Story time's not for you. And that's okay. Yeah, I don't have to be. Or mute me. That's also cool too. I'm not offended by it. Um, but so tonight, our youth group actually went to the senior center and sang Christmas carols. Um, this was kind of thrown together last minute. When we had met at our previous youth group, um, we were just going to do our holiday party like we usually did. And then one of the volunteers had mentioned, well, maybe we could do Christmas carols for um, the senior center. And then like all the kids were totally game. They were like, let's dress up. We'll pick up outfits. Um, and so they were totally on board. And how could I tell them no? Because it's such a great idea. Um, you guys know that I have a heart for, for seniors. Um, I just feel like they're such such a priceless commodity in a society that treats them as if they have no use. And that just breaks my heart. It really does. Um, anyway, moving on from that sad fact of, of, the, <laughs> of the state of current events. Um, so something that they wanted to do. And so I very, I, I reached out that night, in fact, as I was driving out of the parking lot to the lady who's in charge of our senior center. And we started trying to get something together and then holidays and moving and, you know, all this jazz. That's just what happens. Life happens to you. And um, so we were able to pull it together. She was like, I was not able to put it out in the senior newsletter. I don't know how many people you're going to get. And I was like, well, I usually have about you know, 10 kids. And she's like, I think maybe we'll have like five people here. So I guess we'll have 15. And so then when I went to the store, I bought a, well, I went to Dunkin' because you know how I roll. I went to Dunkin' and I bought a box of coffee, like the box of Joe of coffee and one of hot chocolate for the kids. And then um, I went and bought a cookie platter. And I was like, I'm probably overbuying by, like my mom always taught me, you never want to be that person who runs out. Um, so I bought an extra cookie platter. I showed up there and no joke, there was like 30 some odd people in that room. Like it was packed back to the card. So another way that I'm going to help make that the focal point is I'm going to create some separation. So I'm going to add um, some more stars to the stars that are already part of the stamp set with my white gel pen. And this will push my image forward of the manger and puts the sky into the background. Um, so the kids wanted to dress up. Um, for Christmas, we decided that there was a bunch of us that were going to be elves. So I actually purchased elf pajamas from Target 
And um, then when I got home, I was going to change real quick and go back out. Well, I very quickly learned that they're see-through PPS. Those Target pajamas, like the family pajamas, you can totally see right through them. So then in the craziness that is my house, I had to hunt down my um, long johns because the pajamas are also fitted. Um, so I needed something that would slide underneath them that I wouldn't be able to see through and would still keep me warm. And they totally worked and it was great. And we did um, some singing. We did like Let It Snow and Hark the Herald Angels, Rocking Around the Christmas Tree. Um, we did a bunch of like just the really classic ones and then just kind of, you know, chit chatted and had cookies and, and cocoa and coffee and it was just a really good night. Um, so yeah, that is, that is story time. I also did that when I was a kid, like with my youth group, I went out, um, and did Christmas caroling at, we actually went to a retirement home. The senior center is a little different for us, um, cause it's open to all seniors. They don't have to live there. Um, but yeah, it was it was a good night. It was actually the best part of my day, like just being able to interact with the kids and see how respectful they were and kind they were. You know, they were like taking hot cocoa orders and delivering cookies to, you know, people in their seats who couldn't get up and get their own and, and making conversation. And I was just super proud of them. And I love them for having the heart to, to do that. So the last way I'm going to bring any um, focus to my focal point, focus to my focal point, um, is I'm going to use a glitter pen to just add some glitter to um, Joseph, Mary, and Jesus, as well as the rays and the star. Um, here, I had like a little... I squeezed out too much is basically what happened. I put too much pressure on my glitter pen and so it was really very saturated. I kept having to like wipe off the excess but it was still a lot. So I just wanted to show you that it's actually not going to be a different color. That's why I'm drying it. It's not normally necessary. I'm doing it just so you can see that it won't be a different color. Though that is another way to draw attention to it. You could add you know like some navy to them um, or some shading to them and still have it monochromatic and bring attention to them. But I did it with, with glitter. So like that's it. That's the whole card. Um, hopefully you're going to find my mojo and be making more videos here soon. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will catch you on the next video. If you haven't been over to the Honey Bee blog to check out the 12 designers of Christmas, I encourage you to do that. There's lots of talented people. Okay, that's it. Catch you on the next one. Bye.